how to identify and recognize the French F3155 mm howitzer. I have decided I will leave the specifications and common characteristics of this machine until after the identification portion of this episode. And with that, let's start by looking at the identification features of this vehicle. On the left top side of the hull, starting at the front, after the curved partial track guard, the hull flattens out, then rises up and flattens out again. It then drops, flattens out and drops again. It then flattens out to the rear of the vehicle. And if you follow those yellow lines there, you'll see exactly what I mean. And this vehicle here, I believe, belongs to the Argentinian Armed Forces. And now looking at the right side of the vehicle, starting at the front side of the hull. The side of the vehicle curves over the drive sprocket at the front, then is flat. It then rises up and flattens out over the exhaust to the rear of the hull. The side then drops down vertically at the rear, and you can see that there if you follow those yellow lines. And we can see here that we have the exhaust on the right side of the hull. In this video clip, notice the exhaust there, the dark spot on the right side of the hull. You can make it out there in that second howitzer down the end there as well. Also, look at the shape of those sides that we were talking about. Quite a good little video here. And here we can see in that red rectangle there, we can see we have that sloped upper glacius plate and we have that rounded lower front that slopes under the tank and you can see that in that yellow oval. We also see, it, he, see here in that yellow rectangle that this rectangular angle piece looks like some kind of guard or trim vane, although the SPG is not amphibious and, and it may be removed. And here if you look at that yellow oval, we can see that the driver position is on the left of the hull. The engine is, engine is also in front, like on the AMX-13. And here we can see the unenclosed 155mm main gun. You can see it there in that long yellow oval along with the breech. There are two spades at the rear of the vehicle, and of course they can be raised when traveling. You can see here the spades are lowered, and they're in those yellow ovals. And when the vehicle is traveling, the spades are raised, as you can see in the yellow oval. Notice that here when the vehicle is moving, those spades are raised. And now the guns are in place and the spades are lowered, as you can see at the rear there. We can see here, if we follow that yellow line, the tracks slope down to the last road wheel. The AMX-13 light tank also has five road wheels per side. And of course, those road wheels are marked in those red circles there. However, as the AMX-13 has the engine at the front, the drive sprocket is also in the front. The drive sprocket is marked in that green circle. We also have three return rollers, and those are those blue ovals. And initially, the F3 had two return rollers per side, just like the AMX-13 did. And now let's look at the specifications or general characteristics of the F3 howitzer. Weight, 17.4 tons. Length 6.22 meters or 20 feet 5 inches. Width 2.72 meters or 8 feet 11 inches. Height 2.085 meters or 6 feet 10 inches. A crew of 8, only 2 are carried on the howitzer. The others ride in separate vehicles. And vehicle range is 300 kilometers or 190 miles with a speed of up to 60 kilometers an hour or 36 miles per hour. The popular AMX-13 light tank led to a number of vehicles based upon the AMX-13 chassis. One of these was the F3155mm howitzer. However, the rear was shortened and modified to suit its role as an SPG, that is self-propelled gun. More than 600 were produced since entering service in the 1960s. However, the weapon has long been replaced in French service with the GC2155, which has a turret. The weapon proved popular overseas with at least 10 countries outside of France buying the weapon. However, several countries have or are in the process of phasing it out. Upgrade packages are available including replacing the original gasoline engine with a diesel engine. The F3 is one of the smallest SPGs produced carrying the 155mm gun. The F3 is fitted with a 33 caliber 155mm howitzer which is loaded and aimed manually. 
The sustained rate of fire is 1 round per minute. The US M107 projectile can be fired out to a range of around 14.7 Ks or around 8 miles and an increased velocity French HE round out to 20 Ks or 12 miles. Like larger gun systems such as the American M110, the turretless F3 provides no protection to the crew from shore fragments. Although I am sure those crew members who operated hundreds of towed artillery pieces around the world would likely say cry me a river. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube. Comment, like, dislike and even share your suggestions, positive or negative, help me to improve. Good night everybody.